That's what we need. So yeah. again, good day is on the road at the Glass Bowl at the University of Toledo. We're gearing up for the first home game of the season, and it takes a lot mm -hmm. of people to get the gears greased and motion uh, to pull off a football season. Two of those folks, they join us this morning. Yeah, we have Vice President and Director of Athletics, Brian Blair, Nicole Alderson, Executive Associate Athletic Director, Chief Operating Officer, <laughs> and Senior Woman Administrator. Needless to say, uh, both of y'all are wearing quite a few hats. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here today. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> Excited to be here with you. Good, good. So, um, Mr. Blair, is this your second or third season? So this is my second season. Your second season. Yeah, so okay. we're, we're we're veterans now. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a good first season, wasn't it? It was. It was a really good first season across the department. Um, we had six championships, more than double our previous record, record attendance, uh, record GPAs, which I'm especially proud of. And so looking to build on that momentum and create more success. And Brian, uh, MAC champions last year. Yeah. So the goal this year is? It's got to be MAC champions. It's got to be, right? <laughs> yeah. So so going into a season, uh, piggying back off of a championship season how does it how does it feel what is the what is the atmosphere like when you're uh, looking at these players and coaches uh, for the football team yeah I think everybody's focused right and I think coach Cannell and this team do a tremendous job trying to get the most out of that team I think my, my job and our team's job is how can we support them the best that we can and a lot of what we're thinking about doing is how do we create an atmosphere conducive to that win but also conducive to the engaging the community and the campus at higher levels so that's a lot of the work we put in this offseason to make that possible yeah, yeah. okay well Nickel this is your first season mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah so uh, you've been working on a strategic plan called rise together tell us about that yeah absolutely so we've been working on rise together I've been here for five months now but even prior <laughs> to me arriving here on campus they'd started working on their strategic plan and um, so as I came in came down started reviewing all the survey results um, and then we had a strategic planning retreat one of our focuses throughout the strategic plan was really to make sure that we were bringing everybody to the table everyone to have a voice through the strategic plan it wasn't just our executive staff huddling up in a in a boardroom and knocking out a strategic plan. This was over months of work, a lot of different individuals at the strategic plan from our, our campus, our community members, our key stakeholders, really making sure everybody's voice was heard. Um, and then we got working, we worked together, we had subcommittees, making sure we had a lot of different voices in the subcommittees as well. Um, and then revisions, and then revisions again. <laughs> uh, and then coming to this final product, we were really excited a couple, two weeks ago, uh, to unveil this right here on, our, in, on the field. Um, and then just last week really publicized and released the strategic plan. So really excited about the future um, of Toledo Athletics. Yeah, where do you think we're going? Uh, we're, we're rising together and we're going, we're going, we're shooting for the moon. Um, and I think that was one of the things as we were looking at our vision and, um, and our strategic plan is it's got to scare you a little bit. And if it doesn't scare you, is it, are your goals really big enough? <laughs> yeah. um, so we set out some really big goals and we put them out there. If you don't tell anybody your goals, you really hold yourself accountable to those. Um, so really looking for success across the board and really to dominate our conference mm -hmm. and, yeah. and have that national presence and bring presence not only just to the athletic department, um, but bring, bring awareness to this university and to the city of Toledo as a whole. Love that, Nicole. And you said shooting towards the moon. And it works so well because yeah. we are the Rockets, right? right? Yeah. yeah, we, we got it. <laughs> got to do it. So, very fitting. It is. So, Brian, uh, talk to us a little bit. Uh, there's a pet rally happening today, yeah. and the fan experience inside of the Glass Bowl will be a little different this year. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be downtown for lunch. I'm in the heart of it all, telling everybody all we got going on and, and hopefully inspiring some spirit because uh, we can't be successful if this community and this university don't lean in together, right? So a lot of what we've talked about is Team Toledo, university, community, athletic department all coming together, um, and we hope everybody together in the glass bowl mm -hmm. right we've got an entertaining product on the field um, our team's gonna put up points and they're exciting brand of football we want it to start though well before that so at one o'clock our team's going to arrive at the stadium we've got rocket walk um, so the other end of the stadium we've got rockets painted along the parking lot actually mm -hmm. where our band our cheer our spirit and the football team and we want to welcome them with the spirit to get them fired up for game day and that goes right into all the new food the beverages the seating everything we've got going on in the glass bowl and then we've got a couple surprises up our sleeve too that you won't want to miss oh, okay surprises okay. I like surprises Prizes. <laughs> yes, yes, and then uh, you've got a great show too um, with a comedian coming here as well. Yeah, Colin Jones is coming here tomorrow. Who will yep. be at Savage Arena, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Friday every, night. Getting everybody yes, excited, getting ready geared to go. up. Yeah. It's going to be a great season. Yeah, he's he's hilarious too. <laughs> yes. we, we can update SNL. Yeah. It's always a fun time seeing him and Michael Che. So uh, that's something that folks can yeah. uh, get prepared for. Doing big things. Yeah, going into yeah. Uh, the first home opener mm -hmm. of the season. It's so, coming yeah, up, but it. yeah, we're just getting started mm -hmm. here. 
on WTOL 11 Good Day. Uh, we're so excited about uh, what we've got coming up for you throughout the course of this hour. Are you ready for some spirit? I, I am because <laughs> what's football without the cheerleaders? Woo! And we're talking to them when Good Day returns. <laughs> Stay with us.